Yeah, he's a six, but he's got jack biceps. <laughs> Ten. He's a six, but he screams like the parrot in Aladdin. Eight. He's a six, but he has over a million followers. Still eight. The over a million followers makes him over a million dollars. Ten. Coach Greg, and I'm here with Ali Smith. And this is going to be interesting because in today's video, we're going to see how stupid women are. <laughs> Babe. Sorry. We're going to see it. You're, you're generalizing. We're going to see. I didn't say they all are. We're going to see how stupid are they. Maybe they won't be. Maybe they will be. And so, basically, this is what's going on. Courtney Ryan asked a bunch of young girls, you know, young, attractive. They're in their 20s, just like Allie, right? That's right. I'm turning 25. And so, we're going to see, what is the opinion of these young girls? What do they think about guys like, you know, he's a 10, but he plays games all day. You know, that kind of stuff. And we're going to compare. What does Allie think? What do I think? What do they think? Ooh. Who's right? Who's wrong? It's going to be Who's fun. Oh, it's going to be a blast. Can't wait to see. And it starts off with a good one. I've already watched the video. And so I know what questions are going to come up. Can't wait to see what she thinks. <laughs> Some are going to be making fun of me, making fun of her, making fun of the women in the video. And so we're making fun of everyone today. If you want to see this, stay tuned and find out. He's a five and he has 50,000 followers on social media. Yeah, that could stay the same. I feel like followers don't really make someone more attractive to me. Same. I agree. Stays the same. 50,000 followers on social media. What if it was one and a half million? Well, you don't really make... I don't know what's a good quality of having a lot of followers on social media media other than like business and you're making money. If you're a five and you have 50,000 followers on social media, so what? I mean, it really depends. Yeah. Like, what does that benefit We need you? more information. <laughs> yeah, like, if you're a five, you're a five. 50,000, 5,000, who cares? Not a big deal. Not that it's bad, but, like, is it really changing your life, Eddie? Of course not. Zero. Zero for me. If you have more than 10 followers on Instagram, you're automatically not on the roster. Who has less than 10 followers on Instagram? What she just said is if you have more than 10 followers on Instagram, you you're off the zero. roster, you're a zero. I don't think that makes any sense maybe she's nervous that if he has too many people messaging him that he's gonna go out and find another girl so she thinks if you have social media that you're not dateable you go from being a five to a zero as in you're not dateable because you have some followers on social media so she wants someone who has no social media like who wronged her <laughs> really like what is wrong with this woman a five okay what about 100k a seven I'll give him a seven. Okay, and so apparently 50,000 doesn't matter, but if it's 100,000, boy, there are seven. Imagine if Go it was Coach Wright. Am I a 12? Yeah, you must be. You know, I've never been, like, big on followers. You know, it's, it's more about meeting the guy in person and getting a connection. He could have five followers and be the greatest guy in the world. Yeah, and so, of course, for example, I have a lot of followers, but it's because I have a lot of passion, put a lot of videos, it's my work. And so it doesn't make you go from being a five to a six or seven. It's just, you are who you are. Well, it could, if that's how she views having followers on social media, that that means you're driven and you, you know, you're, you're, you're creating something that you enjoy. So yeah, I guess it could go up. It depends all on what you, how you view these things. He's a nine and doesn't have social media. If you don't have social media, it's a red flag, girls. Do you know what they're doing? Do you know what they're really doing? You probably don't know this. I have no idea. They're sleeping with all the girls and they don't want them to know because they're not on social media. And if they are, they find out. Some people just don't like social media. Nope. If the guy doesn't have social media, it's because he doesn't want you to find out about the side chicks. Sorry, said it. It might be, or maybe other stuff that he doesn't want you to find out. He wants, there's something no, but there's he doesn't so many want you to find out. people who don't have social media. And all like, he has are hiding something. Like my doctor doesn't have social media. Hiding something. <laughs> Babe, that's a little ridiculous. What is your doctor doing on the side? Well, I mean, I guess it depends on like an age bracket. He is 100. Like, Marry me right now, propose. Yes, get down on the knee. I'll get down on my knees for you. Of course he's 100. This is the woman that said if they have More over 10, 10 followers, I'm not following she you. Was a zero, he, she was like calling him a zero. So now, if he has no social media, 10, marry me now. So here's some advice for this woman. I don't know who you are. When you find this guy, you're going to be one of many. <laughs> Babe. One of many. Think of it. He has no social media. He's a nine and he just falls for you. Because you're so special. 
Babe. He will never have any other girls. He'll never don't, have any other girls. Don't listen to this one, girls. <sighs> Who do you think would know better? 46 Me. years of age here. 46. You're asking these girls in their early 20s. They don't know what's going on. I know. I've been there. <laughs> Oh, he's a 10. He's a straight 10. He's an 11. First off, an 11, that's an underage girl from Stranger Things. 11. It is. Look at me, I'm so witty. You are so witty, babe. Right? 11. Especially this You can't be an 11 that's above a 10. The girl said all 111. It's a scale of 1 to 10 people. You can't go up past you a 10. You could be an 11. That's like really good. Maybe if you're in a movie, Stranger Things, you can't be an 11 unless you're... You can't be an 11. And so listen, woman, you got the little cross, a church going girl. With nipple rings. She said it, not me. <laughs> Comment about Allie notice. noticing that. I didn't notice that. She's got the cross <laughs> and she's going to date guys that don't have social media. What did I warn you about guys that don't have social media? Be careful. Red flag. It's not they're now an 11 or 100. They're now, be careful. A 12. <laughs> I, I like that more reserved, like mysterious. Yeah, I love the more mysterious reserved guys that have 17 girlfriends and none of them know about it because they're being secretive by not being on social media. It is actually, if that's the life you want to live, it, social media could definitely get you into trouble. So staying off of social media. If you're not on social media, you're basically a hermit living in the woods. Like, according to this, what I'm watching is women want men who are good looking, who don't go on social media. Why would you want that? Well, because they'll cheat on me if they're on social media. That's what I'm getting. Is that the message you feel from these people? Yeah. And, and again, I think it's like that age group too, because like when we were growing up, there wasn't social media. So you met people and you never had to worry about like any of this kind of social media stuff. It's easy to reach out to people. It's easy to hide stuff now. So I don't know. I never worry about it because it's, it's just not... I wasn't raised with social media, so. I just can't get over this question. Everyone thinks that social media is bad, even though everyone does it. It's like, oh, he has, he's a nine, but he owns a cell phone. Oh, he's a zero. Oh, he's a 10, but he doesn't have a phone. He's a hundred. Yeah. Well, it's sad. It's really sad that these young people, that's what they think. Like, I don't trust anybody if they have social media because for sure they're going to cheat. Exactly. That's what I'm getting. The message is, I don't want them because they might cheat on me. Meanwhile, if they don't have social media, how do you know if they're cheating on you or not? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have social media because he can't meet any girls? Have you ever heard of a phone? <laughs> Hi, you want to come over tonight? My girlfriend's out of town. <clears throat> oh, he doesn't have social media. I'll never be able to meet a girl. This is stupid, girls. It's just easier on social media because you have access to I think so it's many harder things. on social media. No. Because you go find out. No, it's easier to meet people on social media. So it's the chances cuz like people don't go to a bar, hi. Well, yeah, baby. It's like online dating, social media. Like, people don't like meet each other just like organically anymore. Yeah, you people, can't talk to anyone at the gas exactly, station. We know that. Exactly. Someone might steal you off the street, so don't say hi to anybody just in case. I'd say a 5. He watches TV for for 4 hours a night. Like I would still. That's just a lot of time to spend doing one thing that's kind of sedentary. What if it's going to the gym? Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, four hours every night playing video games. So at night, let's say it starts around six. So from six till 10 p.m. every night, he's playing video games. Now, I That's know a lot of your day. I know people like couples who play video games together for like hours and hours and hours. Oh, like and that's it. just something that they do together. Like we like watching like Netflix, Netflix shows or movies in our hot tub and we'll stay in there for hours. Yeah, but it's because in the hot tub four hours. But if, if you're spending four hours doing something not with your partner, that's like you only have four hours in a night and they're completely just like zoned out, like talking to their friends on like, you know, playing like games. Like me working. Yeah. Like that <laughs> could be a problem, of course. So, and video games, like, I know people are like pretty addicted. Like the gamers are like addicted to gaming. It's not just like, oh, you do it, you know, every once in a while. If they're playing four hours of video games every night, you know they're playing during the day. You know they're playing more than that. That's and so to lot. me, it'd be like, I'm playing with this guy who has no job, who's just playing video games. And it's like, oh, if people you can make a balance, lot of money from playing video oh, games. Oh, if you're a famous gamer with millions of followers and you're making bank yeah. on video games, that's your job. That's exactly. different. But if you're just wasting your time all day, getting your dopamine from doing this, it used to be this, but now it's this. <laughs> If you're doing this, 
Girls uh, are not going to find you as hot. Of course they're not. Yeah. Okay, so my best friend, who is my brother, plays video games for us four hours a night, so I don't want to disrespect him, so I'm going to keep it at a seven. AK, okay, it's a zero, but since my brother does it, I'm going to say it's still a seven because I don't want to get mad at me. <laughs> That's exactly what Literally. he said. He's a five and he drives a Porsche. Uh, what kind of a Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a Porsche? Exactly. <laughs> I'll base my rating depending on the model. <laughs> That's funny. Well, let's be honest. A twenty thousand dollar vehicle versus three hundred thousand. It's obviously going to say something about how much money they're making. And so, if you value somebody that makes a lot of money and they have a really expensive car, then well, obviously the rating's going to go up. If I don't like someone, like it doesn't matter what they have, so he can stay a five. I feel like when I first meet him, he's gonna go to a nine. That's true. A nine. That's she went up to a nine well, at first. That's no, huge. Well, she said. She said. At first when meeting, I, him, he has it, a nine. Yeah, like if I first meet him, he's driving, you know, a really nice Porsche. He's gonna be a nine. But then his personality starts to come out and he would yeah. go like down. See, I've been researching this, what women think of guys. And what I learned in the past is that it doesn't matter about the car. It's really not that significant. It mattered more that you trimmed your freaking toenails and your fingernails. Yeah, like overall what they drive is not... <laughs> it was all about being tall, people. You don't need a Porsche. As long as you're six <laughs> feet tall, you can ride a freaking bicycle and you're good. That's funny. Yeah. With, I'm a car person. I love cars, but that's not going to change my rating on attractiveness. It may initially like just be like, ooh, look at that car, but I'm not going to like date someone just because of their car. Yeah. You're like, ooh, look at that car. Yeah, Notice, exactly. not look at that not guy, guy with the car. <laughs> I like the car. I'm not looking at what's inside. I'm just looking at the car. Yeah, oh it's my. like, yeah, I'm interested in your car. Not you. <laughs> not you go away. Can I drive your car? You, yeah. you go away. He's an A. Like, materialistic things doesn't they they don't matter to me not that much but um it just shows me that you're working hard yeah materialistic things they don't matter to me that much but he's an eight but he's an eight <laughs> if he drives a horse <laughs> i don't care about money but if he has money he's an eight. Oh, you almost elbowed me in the face right there with your wild art <laughs> this is my favorite woman in this video yeah she's hilarious she is hilarious she i I'd say she's a, she'd be a bit of a... a what would a, she be? She, she would be a bit of an intense girlfriend. <laughs> she'd be an intense girlfriend. I don't know if yes. that's good or bad. It's I don't know if that's positive good. or negative. Oh, it's, it's not yeah. good. Yeah, I think she'd be a, like a lot. Yeah. Like it would, it would be a struggle. Like not calm. There would be no calmness in that relationship. He's a six and he's successful, but he's frugal with his money. By frugal, I don't necessarily mean cheap. I just mean he's responsible with his money. That's a strong candidate. I'd give him like an eight and a half. And so my personal opinion is this is an amazing guy. He's not that, att he's not super attractive. He's, he's a, a six. six. He's not above average. Yeah, he's not bad. He's all right, but he makes a lot of money and he's responsible with his money. And so in my opinion, the guy should go up. It should be a bonus. Yeah, he's a nine. I, I respect being mindful of your, your money and your life choices and being wise about how you spend your money. Turns out she has a brain after all. She, she, she just gained some points in your book. After Our favorite question. girl. <laughs> so Good job on you. This, this is an interesting question because, you know, I understand some of them saying that, you know, frugal, of course, is amazing. But there does have to be that balance between like living life. You can't just save, 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 save and not experience because then, you know, you're, you're old, you die and you, you've saved a lot of money, but you haven't experienced anything. So just between us, you might not think it, but I'm excessively frugal. Ridiculous. So I'm biased towards wanting them to say he's, he's end. better now because of me, because I'm an experience. She makes me spend money, but I, I spend no money. It was actually None. ridiculous. I but, am very, but I'm listen, very good at saving. I don't blast my money. I'm very cautious of what I do. So we were raised literally completely different with this. When he would have his birthdays as a kid, his parents would like take his money and be like, we're saving this for, you know, your education or whatever. My family would give me money for my birthday and be like, you need to buy yourself something really nice that you're going to like, like a piece of jewelry, something you could keep for a long time. So we literally grew up very, very opposite, but it worked because I now am slightly better with you know, not we meet in the middle. Yeah, we meet in the middle. So. It's like a good balance. And so people write in the comments, oh, blows all his money buying a fancy car. He's blasting car. his money. He's blasting his money. 
This spending this one a little would last bit money. of it finally for once in my entire life, I'm spending a little bit of money. Literally, when I met him, he was driving a v- old it? Civic. Uh, oh. You had that for years when we were first together. And like, I had money in the bank saved yeah. because why? Because I was going to buy a condo. Exactly. I saved up. Yeah. Had to put in the down payment. Eight or nine. I think frugal is. Okay, but I hate when guys are cheap. A more important yeah. question is, what is my number? This says, says is he's a six. I got to be higher than a six. You? What y'all think? It's Ooh, not a muscle. six. Is Coach Greg a six? You definitely go up because you've got muscle. Yeah, he's a six, but he's got jack biceps. <laughs> Ten. He's a six, but he screams like the parent in Aladdin. Eight. He's a six, but he has over a million followers. Still eight. The over a million followers makes him over a million dollars. Ten. See? <laughs> it's all about the money, people. He's a nine. He makes half a million dollars a year and considers himself a high-value man. He also thinks he can sleep with other women while being in a relationship with you huh. because of this. Not many women are going to like that. Or are they? Or are they? What do you mean I that? know people that this works for. They sort of have their own separate lives, but then they have their lives together and they don't really pay attention to what's going on. As long as you're good looking and you're making a a good amount of money, you're sort of turning a blind eye and people are fine with that. And that's fine. Personally, I would not want that. You go to a zero real quick. Yeah, I mean, so it depends. What are you getting out of it? Are you dating the guy just for looks yeah. and money? And if it is, you just want you arm don't candy care. Who, pay, who pays for your life? I mean, I feel like it happens a lot. Yeah, more than you know. More, more than you think. Yeah, more than you know. Zero. Um, yeah, zero. No explanation needed for this one. Well, of course she's going to say zero. This is a girl that doesn't allow you to have more than 10 followers on, on Instagram because she's worried they're going <laughs> to cheat on you. Yeah, yeah. Of course he's zero. zero. He's a seven and he calls himself an alpha male. Ugh. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Anyone that calls himself an alpha male, I mean, he's automatically not much. That's sort of like referring to yourself in like the third person. <laughs> like I it's say, a Coach no. Greg. I know, and it slightly bothers me <laughs> when I hear you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I'm no longer nine. Down Just to a, I'm down, down to a three. Point. Good thing I. I don't drive a Porsche, but at least have some kind of a car. You're an alpha male. You're not an alpha male. So I feel like you're a two. (laughs) And really, how attractive you are to a female, it really comes down to an addition of all these numbers and divided out. Yeah. High here and low here. No one's going to be a 10 at everything. And so no one's really a 10. We all have strengths and weaknesses. Exactly. Make the most of it. Some people like more of one thing than another. And for example, some girls, I know they're idiots. They think that height matters. Imagine being that stupid. Yeah. Imagine the guys you're missing out on because they're only five foot it six men. It never made any sense to me ever. I don't understand that at all. Like It doesn't make I, sense. It I, would be like saying the color of your hair. It's like, oh, you, I only date guys with blue eyes. Like you eyes. could be happy forever, but you wouldn't let someone who's under six feet have a, a ch- like you wouldn't want to have a chance. I mean, that could be hot. With the right guy, um, I kind of like it. I'd say he's still a seven. What? <laughs> it could be hot with the right guy. Alpha male. No. Hey, I'm never. real alpha. Like, what is an alpha even? They slap you around and think they're tough and better than you. And but I'm he a calls man. himself an alpha I'm male. I'm an alpha male. Like, he'd walk what in the, the heck like, is an alpha male? Oh, I did such an alpha male thing today. I did this, this. Like, like I, I feel <sighs> like that is really bad. Who? And he's only a seven. And, like, who knows what else? Does he make a lot of money? <laughs> like, does he drive a Porsche? Like, what? Man. He's an eight and he's divorced. He's divorced and he's 24? That seems like a red flag to me. My personal opinion is this shouldn't matter to anybody anymore. I'm divorced. I mean, what's the divorce rate? 60%? If so, if you're divorced, you're in the majority. Most people are getting divorced. And I feel like when you've been married and divorced, you know how to then not do it again not do it again like you you hopefully have learned from your mistakes and grown as a human and realize what caused the marriage to not work and then if it was something with you you sort of work on that and fix it and grow as a human i know i did like that's i mean if you just keep getting married and keep getting divorced and don't actually learn anything 
like coming out of it, that's sort of a waste. Yeah, the question should have been like, he's been married and divorced two or three times. Like that would to me be like, yeah. Like, Cause then you're not fixing your issues. It you're... could have been the other person he's divorced. Why? Well, because she cheated on him with three other people yeah. and had three babies with them. And yeah. after the third, he was like, I had enough. A lot of these questions, you need more context, more information. Just the fact that you're divorced, it shouldn't be like, yeah. no. He's a seven and he has two kids. Um, I personally am not looking for children at the moment. So for me, it is a little bit of a hit. That's a lot of kids. I'm going to say, well, what do you think is going to happen? I don't like or want kids at all. If the kids lived in like another country. And they These are 20 something year olds. They're going to have little babies running around. Sorry. I'm saying sorry, Jesse James, but the single moms, single dads, it's not so good for the single dads. Yeah. I think their guys are going to get much lower ratings. Let's see what happens here. Um, I am not ready to be a stepmother personally. So that would work for me right now. So he's a seven. Okay. Yeah. And so our favorite girl, you got two kids. No problem. But don't have an Instagram don't account. Don't have social media. But you can't have 11 followers on Instagram. Two or three kids? Oh, I'm good with that. You know, it's the context thing. Like, they're saying, you know, at this time in my life, that would go down points because I don't want kids. I can barely take care of myself. So it's smart. He's a 10 and he's currently unemployed. For how long? Like, if it's a week in between finding jobs, that's fine. But if you're chronically unemployed... Zero. <laughs> he looks like Chris Bumstead, but he's unemployed. That's the question. Ah, uh, uh, he still looks like Chris Bumstead. I know. How like, long will he be out of a job yeah. for? Is he just in between jobs? Did he get like a good, oh, Let, what's that called? A severance. Did he get good severance pay from the last job he was getting served from the from? government. Does he live at home? Does he and so serve? Is he getting served? <laughs> is he getting served? zero. He's a, he looks like Chris Bump said, let's find a way to make this okay. He's a 10, okay? He doesn't have any money, job, nothing. He probably plays video games all day. But, yeah, but, but dude's a 10. a 10. Oh, that's a tough one. Notice how it's hard to bring down the tens. When you're a ten, sorry people, if you're you not can, a ten, the chads, they're getting everybody. Yeah, you can literally get away with anything. I got no job, <laughs> two kids, divorced by three different women. But he's a ten. Yeah, he's still fine. a ten. Still a ten. Now, if you're unemployed, but your job is like social media or marketing or cryptocurrency or something like that, that's a little bit different. If your job is cryptocurrency, it's not a job. You're still unemployed. <laughs> oh, I'm in crypto. I invest in crypto. It's the same with like stocks and stuff. Oh, I do stocks. <laughs> Listen, women, when people start to say, oh, you know, I got it making big money. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm in crypto. Crypto went down. If they're in crypto, they're bankrupt. I don't understand any of that. So They're not. If you're doing crypto, you're not making money. He's a seven and he's rich, but he has no work-life balance. And you see him once a week. So he's Coach Greg, except I'm a nine. But you're a nine, yeah. <laughs> You have no work-life no, balance. No, but I used to have no work-life balance, but now I do. A slightly better. He's a seven and he's rich, but has no work-life balance. What would you rate this guy? Well, see, it, I mean, he would definitely He's a workaholic a and he's rich. He would definitely, well. He's still a seven. Still a seven. He works Stay hard. the same. Yeah, he works hard. And again, it's the context. Like... For when, how long will he have to work hard? Well, exactly. Yeah, like if you're building a business, forever. yeah. Like if you're building a business, first five years, you're like killing yourself. You have no balance. It's all work, no life. But then after that, you know, you need to sort of balance out. Yeah. I mean, if the guy's working really hard, I got to make some millions of dollars till I'm age 30, then I'm going to retire at 30. It's like, oh, I don't want to be with you <laughs> because he's too ambitious. Yeah. A six? He's a two like a five they all went down and so apparently guys there's a delicate balance between making a wow. lot of money which the girls seem to want to get the porsches and so on and having free time to be with them notice this they went down more for this than the ones playing four hours of video games yeah and it also i think is because of their age bracket they don't really know life or understand life because they're just in their twenties. They want to party. They're in their twenties. They yeah. don't understand you how to work hard. So as a twenty-year-old, I'd probably be like, "Oh, that sucks." But as a mature woman, who's I, also perhaps working a lot of hours, it, and so then exactly, just don't play four hours of video games. Yeah. Use those four hours to work hard and start making some money, yeah. and then see each other after. Exactly. Yeah. There's there's life is like this all the time. 
So these 20 year olds don't understand that sometimes you got to work a lot for a lot of years and there's not a lot of time for everything else. But then later in life, you get that balance back. Yeah. I mean, it's really funny to see the yeah. girls' opinions compared to like we're yeah. older people. Sorry, yeah. you're not living 24. The, like living this life right now. <laughs> I guess it would be like a one or two if we're not having any time together, then it's not really a relationship, but. And if you go back to their answers from freaking playing video games, it seems they're more strict on the guy that's working hard to get a good living than the guy that's just sitting around playing video games. Yikes. They literally would rather go out with a 10 who's unemployed than a seven who's making bank who's working really hard. Yeah, it definitely is an immature, I think there's the immaturity level there showing. Yeah, so you can see, you have to date women within your age bracket, or at least your maturity level, what their value's on, and everyone's different. Young people don't all think like this. Old people don't all think like us. Everyone's a mix. You just got to date the person that's right for you. Yeah, 100%. He's a 10, and most of his friends are girls. He's a... Two. Of course, she said he's a two. This is the Her one you can't, you can't have Instagram followers. Imagine if those Instagram followers We're happen to be girls. women. Yeah. So we need to rephrase this. He has a large social media following, but they're all men. Would it be okay then? He has got a million followers, and all one million of them are guys. Is he still a 10? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's a 10. Yeah, I think she would say he would be a 10. That's crazy. I think eight or nine. It's kind of suspicious because, like, why do you. Is there a reason why like you don't get along with guys? I don't know. Okay, and so there you have it. Hope you learned something. Yeah. Did you learn something? Let us know in the comment section. Did you like this kind of video? Do you want me to do more of them? Did you like this video? Yeah, it was fun. I like this it's video. It's entertaining as hell for me. Yeah. I think it's funny, especially that one girl. You are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she was really good. Hopefully she doesn't write in and be like, you hate it on me too much. Well, she... Yeah. People can have their own opinions. Yeah. I have my opinion. You can hate my opinion. I get it all the time. Write comments. Yeah, I hate you, Coach Greg. We don't like you, blah, blah, whatever. Think what you think. Date who you like. Hopefully this video helped. Ending it here. Want to support the channel? Support us. Ali obviously likes fancy cars. Um, buy stuff. Harder than last time supplements, training books, cookbooks, coaching plans by me and my team. Just keep spending money. More money you spend, the more I'll spend. Let me be honest. Think I'm like, oh, Greg, it's just about making money. I like to make money. It's so much fun. Who Why wouldn't doesn't it be? Like Who doesn't money? want to make money? I'm going to sit here and be like, oh, I don't care about making any money. I'm it's just never play thought. Video games I just want to. Yeah, like, are you kidding me? Do you know how much work I've done to get this money that I've so been making? So much work. All the work. No life work balance. All work. But I'm not dating a 24 year old. They'd be like, oh, I'm just going to throw away this guy because he's only five foot six and spends all his day working. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid people. Oh my gosh. We should literally ask people, like, go around and say exactly who you are and what you do and see what people rate you. What do you mean? Hi, I'm like, Coach Greg. No, rate me? No, no, no. I should be like, like, no, 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 not hi, co I'm Coach Greg. Hi, I'm the, Greg Doucette. No, the, the scenario should be you. Yeah, so we should I ask do it. people I and go say, with the mic. And he's so I'm a like, nine. He's a nine, but he, he screams has, like the parrot from Aladdin. And he has no work-life balance. So like put a bunch of scenarios that I am. He's nice nine, parts. but he's 46 years old and has 17 and a half inch arms. <laughs> Like no a bunch kids. of scenarios that are me. Yeah. He's a nine and he has doing. eight animals in the house. <laughs> he has four cats and a pot, pet, pot, pet, pot, belly pig. <laughs> the hard part is finding these 24 year olds who are going to answer all these questions. We have friends who know a lot of 24 year olds. My friends are older though. Mostly, yeah, they are. But they date young girls. a lot of 24 year olds. Maybe that's the issue. <gasps> we should start a counseling session for our friends. Counsel our friends? Yeah, we should counsel our friends. Teach them about this kind yeah, of stuff? Yeah, maturity levels. You can't go in your 20s because the maturity level just isn't there. There's going to be problems. All right. And so, and on hope that you note, like the conclusion here. of the video. Buy stuff, as we said. <laughs> um, subscribe. Click the bell button. Comment. Algorithm. Try watching one more of these videos. I did one of these. He's a 10 video type things, All but right. it's short. Check that one out. See if you like it. And until next time. We are out. We are out.